you have common sense if you notice there's a world around to not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense that we're dealing with hi Oh, hello there. <laughs> Sorry, I was <laughs> muted, everybody. Uh, it's my first day on the job. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> it is March 10th, Season 2, Episode 4 of Not So Common Sense. Off to a great start, folks. <laughs> Good to see you. We see you all out there in the live chat. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Jalopy. This is my lovely co-host, Miss Skylo22. Hello. We we are happy to see you. If you're listening to us on the podcast, thank you so much. We appreciate it. If you're listening to us driving down the road, look out. There's a bird. We appreciate you as well. Hope you all are doing incredible. Skylo, mm -hmm. we weren't here last week. Mm -mm. We missed a week mm -hmm. because of life and side quests we had to take care of, of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how have you been? Um, well rested, I suppose. Um, I just had like appointments after appointments after appointments because, you know, when we talked about like making appointments three months ago on our episodes of Not So Common Sense on our How's Our Day, yeah, now the appointments have finally started. So like all of those just been piling up and it's just been... It's right. been hectic. Right, because you know, that's, just... that's a, that's a uh, fair time frame to have to wait. <laughs> Yeah, to, get to see a doctor and see so, doctors for when you're dying. Yeah, and you just know. need it's medical fine. attention immediately. Emergency you know, medical attention. I, I feel like because that that's the thing. Here, there's the fine line. You can't really go to the emergency room because it's not really an emergency. They're gonna make you go see your primary health care doctor anyway, mm -hmm. and then you have to wait for them to fucking be open and then get an appointment for them. So then maybe you go to urgent care and they're just like, well, there's nothing we can do. See your primary doctor or go to the hospital. It's just like by the time you're just gonna drop. I feel like they're just waiting for us to drop dead. They're like, oh, it's okay. They'll just they'll just die. It's fine. This is fine. Well, I fine. mean, if we die, then it's just there's just more people. Yeah, like they're not worried. Place. They don't they're care. not worried. Yeah, they're not worried. They're like, we'll get paid by this insurance. Get your tinfoil hats ready, folks. This episode's <laughs> gonna be a ride. Let me tell you what. I promise you. <laughs> I'm in a mood tonight, folks. You're you're getting a special episode if you're here, so we appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Uh I've been well over here. You pretty much know everything going on with me all the time mm -hmm. because you basically run my channel over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's good. I, I'm glad you finally are getting your appointments though. Are they, are they going well at least? Yeah, they're going pretty swimmingly, but it's like one of those things where it's just like, they kind of see you for like the 15 minutes and they're just like, okay, then we're going to run some tests. So you need to make another appointment in another couple of weeks and then come back and do those tests. And then when you do those tests, which will take you five minutes, we're going to need another appointment right. just so that you guys can, you can get your results. So we can talk to you about that. Doesn't it feel like <laughs> it takes them years to do something they could do in one day? It does because honestly, like, if you think about it, when you go to the hospital and there's something that's wrong with you, they start taking all these tests, the same tests that you would with your doctor, and they get the results so much faster. Again, same that you would with your doctor, but they're just getting it right then and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to be waiting a few hours, maybe more, maybe about eight. I think it was the longest I've ever waited inside of a hospital, but... You're going to get all your shit done. You're going to get mm -hmm. your x-rays. You're going to get your MRIs. You're going to get your, your vaccines. You're going to get your blood work. You're going to get your stool stamp. You're going to get everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, I would rather why... dedicate... A whole day. A whole day to getting everything done as to have to wait months and make multiple trips for five-minute visits. That end up... They're, they're not even five-minute visits. The time that you're being seen is five minutes. You're waiting yeah. still an hour or two in the lobby. You got to check and put out the which, paperwork, sit there and wait. Which makes no get... sense to me. What are they doing back there? Doctors, doctor's offices, people who work at doctor's offices. I need to know what's going on when I come to the doctor's office and there's literally nobody back there. There's like three people max. 
right? And I'm sitting out there for like an hour in the lobby waiting. And then I go back and I see that there's literally all nothing, nothing but empty rooms, two patients back there, right? Nobody's come out. You finally bring me back. And then I'm there for five minutes and I leave. What? <laughs> what was happening doing? i don't know i don't get it my kids doctor's office like i love them they're they're in they're out you call in for an appointment say hey this is what's happening this is what's going. okay bring them in or bring them tomorrow or whatever the case may be and then you're literally you are in, you you don't even sit in the waiting room you go in and before your ass hits the seat they're like oh yeah come on back you're like oh okay i need to just <laughs> marry a doctor that's what i need i need to marry yeah. a doctor same same I don't they, think that's uh they don't have to give me anything except for just the health care. That's, yeah, that's just all I just want. hook me up with some, with medical uh benefits here and I'll be good to yeah. go. Just get me it, in and out. I don't even, don't you even have, have to, to pay like for me. it. Just just get me in and out of my appointments quickly. <laughs> that's all I want. Oh, well, you don't even have to like me. Just like yeah. Help me out with like going through the You can even sleep quicker. around on me. That's fine. Yeah, just it's fine. I guess I just need a doctor <laughs> friend is really the... <laughs> I guess we don't have to get married. <laughs> so if there's any doctors out there that would like to be my friend, uh hi. <laughs> hi. Please help us. How we're you falling doing? apart. <laughs> yeah, we're struggling over here. <laughs> Uh, you know what else is struggling? My wallet right now with these freaking gas prices. <laughs> have you been? Kidding. Have you been out? Have you seen the I've world? I've seen. I've seen the world, but fortunately for me, um, I don't have a car. Like halfway through COVID, I uh, my lease was up, so got the car taken away. Like they did their thing with the car, had to pay it off, whatever the case. Like I didn't. I didn't want another car. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm not going anywhere. COVID's happening. Nobody's going anywhere. Why should I add an extra payment to my life with the insurance for it to just sit in the driveway? Like, mm -hmm. I ain't, I could just Uber somewhere. I'm fortunate enough that I live in a city where I could just take a bus, I can Uber, or I could take a subway, whatever. It's fine. But, um, no, the last time I, uh, I went out, it was, it was disturbing to see. Mm hmm. I drove by the gas station today by my house and it was five eighty nine a gallon for regular unleaded. That's disgusting. What's crazy to me is that they're che it's cheaper here in New York than it is there. I think we're just reaching five dollars. Well, I heard reports of it being over seven dollars in Beverly Hills. So I've heard that too, which is disgusting. March 10th, what? 2022, just to document. So, okay. I had this discussion the other day with somebody else, but my whole thing is why why haven't we switched over yet? Like, what's what's the issue? Why haven't people been, been buying, like, electric cars? Why aren't there solar panel cars? Cars are fucking outside in the day. Money. All the, like, for who? Whoever is the this. oil tycoons. We still need the oil. We still need them for boats. We need them for planes. There's yeah, so much but shit you know how much more for. we need for gasoline? I mean, they can get cars? Like, hybrid cars like so that you could do two and two. You could save so much on trips because you're just like you have a charged car and then all of a sudden you're like, Who oh, can shit. afford it right now? I'm just saying like there We're needs in, to we've be been a in a pandemic for three years. We got World War Three about to start. <laughs> I, what is life right now we don't know we're just here everybody's everybody acts like they know what's going on and like they know how to handle life and what, what they're mm -hmm. doing no we're all just bumping into walls and hanging on for dear life <laughs> yeah are yeah. we not yeah, are. can we be no, real we for are. a second we're all just yeah. doing our best to get through and get by Nobody knows what they're doing nobody, nobody right knows answer. what's coming nobody knows we're all just hanging on by a thread yeah <laughs> and people are falling off that thread is breaking daily for so many people i know it's I don't get scary it. it's people just need to chill the fuck out like everyone mm -hmm. i feel like is just so wired and so amped up yes. i honestly because well, everybody's I blame, on edge because they don't know what's happening i i kind of also blame people's diets though like i feel like the the shittier you eat the more like freaked out and on edge you are like if you're just eating nothing but like crap 
all day. Like you, you just have take all this that energy. Hot dog you got from the dairy bar, and you <laughs> you take the you eat it, and you take that tin foil that came in and wrap it around your head, and you're like, man, this hot dog has microchips in it, guy. <laughs> <laughs> what's happening out there but no yeah i think people are just on edge because they don't know what's going on they don't know what's happening with their lives so many people have just got put out of work people they're, are scared they're losing their homes their jobs their their people are having they're losing everything yeah it's tough like honestly like i said i'm i'm honestly i'm very fortunate that i'm at a point in my life where as soon as like the pandemic hit, I had gotten rid of like all of my big bills. Mm -hmm. I just have my phone bill. Like that is it. And yeah. I'm so fortunate. Oh yeah. For that. I have minimized down to the bare minimum. Yeah. I'm like, again, cause what the fuck do I need anything else for right now? Until everything is just like, all right, like yeah. we can start living life like, again. Cause, like, in yeah, some... cause basically the way I'm looking at it is like world, the world is like paused. Yeah, We're just right? paused <laughs> until all of this is over. <laughs> I just froze on my accounts. So Everything's just... <laughs> paused. I'm just I'm just gonna ride it out. <laughs> I'm like fry from Futurama. I'm getting in my pod. You're gonna freeze me and I'll come out when the world's ready for me. Mm-hmm. Just chilling right now. And it's okay. It's okay. Like I have been okay for the past like what, two years now? I'm yeah. just chilling. Like Well, just... here's the thing. The 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 I think the biggest problem right now is that the, the you it, we're so d not only divided as like people that are mm -hmm. on the same level mm -hmm. uh, of uh, uh, the same social level, I guess, or, or society, societal level of uh, not only wealth, but so many other things, but like, we're all we're divided on on we're divided on race we're divided on religion we're divided on gender we're divided on so many things right now but we're all still on the same team against mm -hmm. the you got the the people that are are at the bottom losing everything the people that don't know what's going on we're just trying to survive against the people that are wealthy making thriving. all of this stuff happen thriving and taking advantage of mm -hmm. the people that aren't so it's it's that whole concept of the rich get richer the poor get poorer mm -hmm. and and it's it's scary it's really scary to think about because the people that should be working together are the people that are hating each other the most right now yeah as everybody else it's like dance puppets dance. right <laughs> as the people in charge are just sitting back laughing Watching at all of the dummies other. kill each other yep and hate each other over over just m the most mundane things i've ever seen in my life hate breeds hate hate breeds oh, man, hate. man it's it's disturbing it is and it's sad to watch and it's sad to see i don't really know what to do about it do you how do we fix it I don't, but you know what? These cyber criminals mm -hmm. um, might have a uh, an idea to start it off. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but cyber criminals uh, breached Nvidia not too long ago. It's about like uh, seven days ago. Okay, for um, those who don't know what Nvidia is, mm -hmm. oh, I was I was setting you up <laughs> to tell. <laughs> It's basically a graphic. I'm aware card of what NVIDIA is. I use NVIDIA <laughs> on my computers, but for those who don't, <laughs> it's a GPU or a graphics card for um your computer. Okay. Made for people who game mainly, but people have also been using it to uh, mine cryptocurrencies. Mm -hmm. uh, as of recently, like how's how long has it been? Like a year now, a little over a year. They came out with a new series, the th uh, the thirty series, mm -hmm. and it has been impossible. To get your hands on them because people mm -hmm. just want to use them for mining well um these these cyber i don't know this little cyber group these little cyber criminals like hack they it, they're data extortionists they hacked the nvidia and took a terabyte of data from them 
that included ways to pretty much nuke their firmware. It has like all their source codes, their drivers, like everything. And they pretty much told them like, hey, y'all need to officially make like your current and future devi- like drivers for your cards like an open source mm-hmm. while keeping like certain things um, or they're just going to release everything. And now what this is going to do, like the the program that they want to have opened is supposed to help with the whole mining. So the reason why people are buying them for cryptocurrencies and mining is because they're not being used to their full potential because NVIDIA set the drivers to only run them at like 50%, if that. Mm -hmm. If they just opened it up, they wouldn't need all of these extra GPUs for a reason, which the gamers could get. And people who aren't doing that and just want to use them for gaming, like, can't. Um, right. And that's that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to say, like, all right, we're trying to help these two different people. Like, the gamers can get them, the miners can still mine, and everybody's happy again. But they won't, they won't budge. They have until tomorrow, but apparently, why? to answer. I They haven't really said. They haven't really made clear. Um, money. Well, duh. Obviously. Everything's money. That's what I hate. I know I'm going to sound like a hippie, guys. I know it. I know it. <laughs> The older I get, the more and more I'm like, fight the man, bro. <laughs> Speech and Chong live. become my idols the older and older I get because I'm just like, I they got it. They get it. But the only way to live. For real, though, man, it, everything's about money and I hate it. I, I just, I just, uh, oh, man. I just hate how much life is about money and how how people just extort it so much. They just just take so much advantage. Yeah, of everybody, and it doesn't matter. It's it's even crazier that it happens during a pandemic. Everything is always just like, oh, how much? How can I get money? How can I like use these people's fear and demise? And how do I? What's the best course of action? Like, it's always just. I'm like, I hated being a salesperson for Jim because that's what you did. You listen to the person tell you their sorrows. And sometimes you'd get people who like were overweight and had medical problems, had high blood pressure, things like, like people who had sob stories, just had a horrific accident. And now they're mm-hmm. trying to like get back into it. And like they teach you as a sales consultant to like take their worst like pains and flip it on them when they start to become unsure and use it against them oh, yeah. instead of like and it's just it's disturbing i couldn't do it after a while i just felt like my whole like heart and soul was just turning into like black tar like yeah. i felt so bad i just yep. i don't know i can't i don't i don't like it well uh maybe you uh derived from black tar because a <laughs> new dna reveal uh, of the biggest ever human family tree has been discovered or been not discovered discovered filled not out word. filled out figured <laughs> has been figured. mapped mapped <laughs> mapped is a good word i like mapped has been mapped uh dating back over a or up to a hundred thousand years yeah this was kind of pretty crazy. I mean, I, I've always, like, obviously, it's evolution. Like, I kind of believe in, I believe in evolution. There's scientific proof. Mm-hmm. Um, it's fine. But for them to kind of see that everyone pretty much came from Africa and then migrated to all the different spots mm-hmm. and then just had wild orgies all over the world... <laughs> Well, that's also, like, why we have different skin tones and everything, because of what parts of the world we were in, where we migrated exactly. to, and exactly. how far, you know, we were, like, from the equator, and our our skin needed different things for different climates. Exactly. And what what kills me about, like, seeing things like this, because of how evolution is, and how it kind of started to talk about how we're pretty much all ancestors of each other in some way shape or form Mm -hmm. just by genetic code um and they've been able to take data from people that aren't even alive that have been dead for hundreds of thousands of years like that's how like precise they've started to get to the point that this is something that they've been trying for like the past 30 years and they have finally been able to like 
scientifically prove like hey this is evolution like this is literally evolution mm -hmm. like <laughs> this is what happened they just don't know the the specific timelines as to when neanderthal neanderthal oh my god neanderthal, neanderthal thank you <laughs> Wow, you were going to be wrong on that one as well. I should have just seen how many it took. Keep going. No. <laughs> how they migrated to like Europe and Eastern Asia and just started mating. It's migrating. Like animals do the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's migration. Some animals, like they start migrating down south. They're like, you know what? I like this warm climate. I'm going to chill here. And then they learn to adapt, adapt mm -hmm. or die. You know, and I just, I don't know. I just, I find it funny, again, still, like what you said before. It's just funny how we're all, literally, we've come from the same fucking place. We're not different people. Mm -hmm. Like, we're, and yet we still hate each other. Why? Why do we hate each other? I don't get it. You know why? Because common sense <laughs> is not so common. No, Folks. it's not. It's not. It, I mean, it's it's brutal, and I don't know ever. What's funny to me is everybody you meet agrees with you, but how many of those people don't have common sense? Mm -hmm. Anybody I tell, anybody I tell the name of this podcast to, they're like, "Oh, what do you do?" I'm like, "Oh, I have a podcast." They're like, "Oh, what's it called?" I'm like, "It's not called Not So Common Sense." You know, because common sense is not so common. And they're like, oh, that's perfect. It's re it really isn't. People are stupid. Yada, yada. And, but like, not everybody can agree with me on this because like, there's got to be people that, <laughs> fall, <laughs> that fall under the not so part of this category, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's definitely but, more. But they than don't the know that they out. do. No. Yeah. But see, here's the thing, and I think we talked about this a long time ago too. It's just what makes common sense common is basically what they are taught, like what we're taught as children, right? So you would think knowing, you know, touching fire, fire bad, like right. <laughs> don't touch fire. But there's people who just never seen fire, so they don't know. They grow older, like different right. things like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I can see why it's not so common just because different people have different ways of growing up and things like that. But at the same sense, it's like, when do your actual instincts, because again, we're all mammals. We're all, we're all creatures of this world. When do your actual instincts like kick in? And if that's the case, should the ones that don't have these natural like instincts, like be put somewhere else? Cause you know, in like the animal kingdom, they just eat them. Let's eat like, them. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's I was going to say throw them in a fucking volcano or something to each their own or you no. know leave them to their own vices send them to a place that has no warning labels on anything give and them, then their, just their, give them their own, own country warning yes. warning <laughs> label less country, country. <laughs> you know you know, it would be funny if they, like, ended up taking over the world by accident. They would. Like, setting off some nukes and people were like, who gave them nukes? <laughs> I don't know. I thought they should have them <laughs> to protect themselves. They're shooting them at us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's a movie. That's a really, that would be a really funny movie that I would love to see. <laughs> it's mine. I'm going to okay. start production I like it. in the summer. I got it. You'll be the lead role. Yeah. You got I like this. it. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, they would probably have some pretty weird laws over there. And uh, we're going to move into our next segment here called Weird Laws, which is always a blast here on Not So Common Sense. <laughs> um, and I bet I know why this is a rule, though, or a law. Uh, yeah. I, it's weird that this is a law, not a rule. <laughs> What to me, it's more strange that it's only a law in Utah. Yeah. Like, but apparently, um, it's against the law to bite while boxing in Utah. Now, is this just like you and your buddy are hanging out out back drinking and you just start boxing? <laughs> I think it's any in any shape or form. Any type of boxing that you do. Yeah. It's just. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think mm-hmm. there's a... Uh, there's some kind of like a... Something that's happened with... Uh, Sorry, excuse me. I'm having uh, digestive issues over here. Okay. <laughs> um, You're right. Yeah, I'm good over here. Okay. But uh, yeah, I uh, something something has happened somewhere that that caused them to make a law about this. I'm I would really love to know more about this because I think there's there was an event that went down <laughs> where in the middle of a boxing match somebody stopped and was like he bit me. <laughs> <laughs> does uh does this look infected to charlie you? bit me <laughs> and, Ouch, charlie and then like a governor or something stepped in or a mayor with a monocle stepped in and was like <laughs> i do declare there is no biting and boxing because this took place and i mean like i kind of feel like it's also on the person who's like being boxed is like you know when the fucker is spitting out his mouth guard to like bite you like you're going to see or like hear the like, i don't know a lot of those boxers like, just hug each other a lot i think they're just starved for affection oh that's so sad what if that's a boxer's like origin story of why he became a boxer and he just wanted to get hugged <laughs> <laughs> that would be me as a boxer for sure I'm just Aww. trying to get hugs I just want someone to love me. <laughs> just, just trying to get basic human affection. <laughs> That's all. Well, uh, what else is is a law out there? Well, in Tennessee, teachers can't talk to their students about hand holding, which is That's so weird. weird to me. It's so fucking weird to me. Like. They can't talk to them about kissing either, um, in most places. But apparently, like hand holding, I know. Well, what, so what are they? Okay, so they're they're com- okay. Let me paint a picture for you. A teacher mm-hmm. is coming out. English teacher is coming out of their classroom between periods, walking, um, because it's just not that time of the month for her, and <laughs> she's walking to lunch, right? And. <laughs> Why did you? Why? Just, Sorry, keep coming, I couldn't just, keep coming, just She's keep going, going to lunch, and <laughs> and she sees two kids holding hands. What's she supposed to do? Just is it a Red Rover situation? She just <laughs> busts through them. No not allowed to hands. say anything. No, she can't say anything. She's just got to bust through it. She's not allowed to talk. She just. <laughs> Uh, just runs as fast as she can and just fucking just splits them up. Yeah. Tackles them both to the ground. I don't know what else. Why? What? Are, what is the? What do you mean they can't talk to students about hand holding? Because I don't know. Apparently, there it's it leads to the next step, which would be kissing, which leads to sex, and then leads to disease and babies and. But you can't world. talk about it if you see it, or you're not allowed to like. They can't talk to the students about it. They could probably talk to the parents and just be like, hey, they were holding hands, talk to them. But, like, what does it matter? Well, I mean, I understand that you don't want kids, like, screwing in the janitor's closet or whatever. Yes, but what does not talking about the situation at hand help? Because if you don't talk about that and talk about, oh, where these can lead to affections and other things, guess what? They're going to end up fucking in the janitor's closet. Well, because at they're going to learn everything from other kids or the internet, which is exactly. terrifying. Exactly. And I, I just feel like, like people don't realize this. Like, kids are hella fucking smart. No, I don't I've need to teach my kid anything. Pro, like, I have always been pro sex ed. Always, always. Same, same. Teach every, teach them everything you can growing up about everything. Yeah, at least have them be prepared for. That's what, what I mean. Really life, let like... them know what, what's what. You know, I, I really mm-hmm. think. Start them at a young age. Because that's for one, in my opinion, they're not going to be as hyper sexual in a negative way when they get older because they're going to be smart they're going to look at things probably more scientifically than Mm -hmm. forbiddenly you know what i mean they're going to look at things more of a this is just a natural bodily function yep 
That's something that people do. Instead of not knowing anything and then seeing boobies for the first time. You know how much of, like, that would have prevented for, like, rape? For unwanted pregnancies? Like, because you're holding this forbidden fruit. Like, it's, it's, it's not forbidden. Like, this is human nature. This is... This is evolution. This is everything. So I don't understand why you can have a basic science class that teaches about the body or mating in other species, but you can't have this conversation with your kids, especially when they're at a young age, when they're going to be like absorbing everything. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want mean to make a joke following such a serious thing that she just said, but (laughs) I need to bring attention to something uh, that I had a thought about last night um, about uh, how there's a weird period of time. (laughs) Oh no. There's a weird period of time in our lives boys and girls alike where uh we're allowed where when we're little our babies and and a little probably older than babies i don't know the age where it cuts off but uh where where it's acceptable to to suck on a booby right breastfeed breastfeed mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. suck on a nipple or food or whatever yada yada and then there's like this weird gray awkward area time where they're like okay no (laughs) no more boobies for you but then when you get to a certain age they're like no all right yeah you can have boobies again you you can can suck on them again that's okay it's fine this is fine fine. fine. you're good now (laughs) but for that time period you weren't allowed, and I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I want to. Like, and again, and that's where it comes from. So, like, you have all these like people who are obsessed with boobs. Like, you have the boob lovers, you have the ass lovers, but you especially have a lot of boob lovers out there. And this is the reason. Well, you know why? Because they're like, oh, here's this amazing thing when you're a baby, and. No more. <laughs> <laughs> no milk for you. <laughs> and then if we get older, we're just walking around looking for those. We're like, oh, where are they? I want them. Where are I want they? Them. And they were then, delicious and supple, and I want and, them in my and mouth. And now again. it's like, <laughs> and then when we're finally allowed to have them again, that's what we want. <laughs> and that's how they get that enticement to get men to like go with women so that they can have children and the boobs can grow and then they can have their milk again. That's how that happens. That whole, that's how that process goes. And thus is life. And thus is life. (laughs) It goes on and on and on. So (sighs) the moral of the story teachers in Tennessee is don't talk (laughs) to your students about (laughs) holding hands. (laughs) It'll lead to that. Uh, Dance halls. Cannot be close to cemeteries in, I almost said Scotland, but that's South Carolina. You know what I loved about this one? I don't know why, but when I was typing this in, all I could think of is just like zombies coming out of the cemetery, like to the dance hall. And, you know, the song, you make me want to shout, like playing in the background as they're coming in and people are actually screaming because there's fucking zombies. Cause they See, I was immediately up. picturing... <laughs> It's a monster mash. A monster mash. That's what I pictured. <laughs> it was a graveyard smash. Like, how do I not picture that? You know. Um. Wonder why. What and what are the what, who consider what do they consider close? Because close is relative, right? Like to me, close is this table in front of me, but to somebody else, a mile away could be close. <laughs> This is true. This is true. I don't know what the the statue of like how how far. I don't know, but I just why not? Like they're dead. And what? And if they're not, then you'll know because they'll start dancing. And they'll come out. And well, happy. my guess is they're not worried about zombies, Sky. I imagine they're worried <laughs> <laughs> about the students. Or the people attending the dance 
uh, disrupting the cemetery. Right? Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, like vandalizing <laughs> it. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Because people are stupid. As but we I mean, previously you could, you discussed. Could come out from anything and in two vandalize. seasons and three episodes worth of shows. <laughs> You can literally come out of anything like, oh, I just got a cheeseburger. I'm going to go fuck some shit up. Oh, I just came from the movies. I'm going to go fuck some shit up. Oh, I just had some sex. I'm going to go fuck some shit up. Like, you can literally, from, like, anything, you can right, go fuck some shit up. Right, but dance halls, as we've seen in old-timey movies, is where all of the... <laughs> the hoodlums. Hoodlums and <laughs> the, uh, the hood rat shit takes place. <laughs> <laughs> and all of the honoriness goes down uh, and uh it's uh it's just uh, i don't know weird <laughs> it's, it's, it's why it's, it's why it's under the weird law section folks it's a weird law it is it's very uh, strange <laughs> what else is strange yeah this one's weird I, this one is i don't understand this one at all this one made me really sad because I well, love this one is 20s. like I would break this law every year if, it, if the Same. opportunity arose for this to happen. I would break this law. I would take the fine and just break this law. <laughs> so in Wyoming, you can't take pictures of rabbits between the months of January and April without a permit. And I don't understand. What if you own a pet rabbit? Like, you, oh, sorry, can't take pictures of you nope. until, like, <laughs> I'm gonna go pay for a permit, take pictures of my own pet. I don't understand. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get my it. My look, that would be the months that my pet rabbit gets accepted to be the, the spokesman rabbit for, like, Geico t replacing the <laughs> thing. And I'd be like, I'm sorry, guys. I can't. You have to hire something else because I can't <laughs> let him be on film. <laughs> <laughs> sorry you just take your millions elsewhere i can't do it there's a law against it no I i'm would. not moving <laughs> <laughs> i'm saying right here <laughs> you just have to deal with it no that is weird like in what scenario give me paint any scenario in which this could ever be a problem i mean what if like the What's between January and April? It's um Easter's in April, right? Or is that in May? I don't February know my holidays. March. Is it? Us right now, currently, time and space. Oh, I meant like Easter. When's Easter? Is that in April? They have all that religious yeah, like. Hi, have foodie. we met? <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> Listen. I'm lucky if I can Listen. keep track of Christmas Listen. and my birthday. <laughs> Easter, thank you. Thank you, Matt Foley, in our chat. Our chat is wonderful with the help. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. But, yeah, so I kind of feel like maybe it has something to do with, like, the whole Easter thing and bunnies and, it, like, Good Friday has, and all that stuff. So maybe they're, like, don't take pictures of them because they're trying to sell rabbits on the Internet so people could, like, eat them or use them for Easter weird stuff. Maybe? Uh, I don't. I feel like you're fishing on that one, though. <laughs> I'm trying here. I know. <laughs> you told me to come up with a scenario. I know, and I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, I'm seeing I your. Nothing. I see your scenario, and I'm rejecting your scenario. <laughs> I got nothing. I got. They, I don't. There's the. Yeah. I don't. I don't comprehend. I don't. Can Can someone in Wyoming find out and like let us know, please? Just tell us why this is a thing. Like what happened? Who yeah. hurt them? I don't Who know. Hurt them? I just. Uh, I don't know, but I know one thing. I can never move to Switzerland. And it's such a shame because I feel like I want to live in Switzerland. I can never move to Switzerland, folks, because in Switzerland, it is illegal. <laughs> it is illegal to flush the toilet after 10 p.m. <laughs> uh -huh. I love how my 
microphone squeaked. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but it squeaked when I brought it up. Like a nice, like, like horror movie level squeakage. That was perfect extra effects. <laughs> yeah, it it's like beautiful. It was like it, somebody added that in post. <laughs> That was beautiful. I really hope the stream picked that up because I loved it. Somebody get this guy an award. <laughs> um, you cannot flush the toilet after 10 p.m. I do all my pooping after 10 p.m. Not all of it, but I do a fair percentage of it after 10 p.m. I mean, what you, is just it? Can't, you just if can't. If it's flush. brown, flush it down. Well, you're just going to have to let it mellow like yellow. I can't do that. Apparently you're gonna have I to. I can't. It's bad for the environment. Trust me. <laughs> We're gonna have to get you an outhouse, sir, if you ever come to Switzerland. Mm. What? But again, why? <laughs> Can someone explain what happened? Who hurt you, Switzerland? Who hurt you? I just don't. What does that have? Like where? What does time have to do with when you flush? Imagine having to run home to take like that major shit and it's like 959 and you're like rushing to the bathroom to try. To, like, what if you're on a hot date and you go back to your house and you're getting all ready and she's like, oh, let me go freshen up real quick. And she goes in and freshens up and then you're like, oh, I got to pee. And you go in and. And you go to pee, and there's just this giant tree <laughs> just sitting in your toilet that she left in there. Is it standing straight up? Because it's ten oh five. It's just standing straight it's up. It's just standing there. <laughs> it's not even swirled. It's just no. It's a log. <laughs> I just. <laughs> No. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> but you know what? If if this was the case, and we were in Switzerland, everybody poops. Everybody poops. It's fine. It's, what are you I, gonna do? What are you I gonna know. do? I mean, I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna do the deed. But I'm. I'm that's gonna be in my mind for half a second, for sure. <laughs> You're just staring at it, wanting to. Flush I'm gonna, it, like, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna want, I'm gonna be putting the toilet seat down for sure. I'm gonna, like, the lid is gonna be closed. Do you think people just shit in like little garbage cans and tie it up like fucking animals and just, yeah, maybe? <laughs> Wouldn't you be better like, off just to go outside like a dog? <laughs> but then you gotta pick it up later, so it's just better to get like, just do you? <laughs> do you? I mean, do you, boo-boo, but, like, the chances are, like, if it was me, I would definitely be stepping in my own shit out there somehow. Like, I'd yeah. forget that it was a thing, and I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'd just get it all over my shoes. I just... No. e -dubs in our chat says, the book is censored in Sweden. It's, it's everyone poops, but not after 10. <laughs> 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 That's pretty funny. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's our weird laws this week guys we hope you enjoyed them we're gonna go to something a little more serious uh now we're something we really like to do over here because we think it's important we like to break stigmas over here and this week's break the stigma segment is something that i absolutely this i could talk about this all day every day uh and it's <laughs> single life self-love yeah. Uh it's okay. It's okay, <laughs> folks. You don't mm -hmm. have to get married. You don't have to have children. You don't have to be in any kind of relationship. You it's do okay. you. It's okay. I can't like just everybody's just like, "Oh, you're not with somebody that must be horrible." Why? Why is it such a horrible thing? Well, you need somebody in your life. Do you? <laughs> Do you really? No. You don't. It's not a necessity. It truly isn't. You can still mate with somebody and still produce a child if that's something you want. You still don't really need to be with anybody. It's sperm donors. Yeah. Adoption. Adoption. There's so much other stuff. But self-love, like, I kind of feel like a lot of people nowadays, like, just jump headfirst into relationships and then it's just like oh this person's the one 
I know. I know the one. Do you know why? And then they get married. You know why? <clears throat> why? I think I figured it out. Because what why? we talked about at the top of the show, nobody knows what they're doing. Yeah. Everybody just want. They're like, oh, maybe this person. I'll just hang on to this person. Maybe they know what they're doing. Maybe we can make it through this life together. Yeah. You know, maybe they can help me through this. They seem smart, <laughs> or they seem dumb. That'll make me look smart. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's either one or the other. It's just I don't know. I just and I kind of feel like a lot of these people like forget to take a step back. Like people are afraid to discover who they really are. I kind of mm -hmm. feel like people just walk around just lying to well, themselves. I don't know that they're necessarily afraid. I just think a lot of people, they don't know who they are. Because everybody is, is taught to be something that they're not their right. whole entire life. Everything is just shoved in your face. You, either you have to be super buff or you have to be super skinny or you have to be uh, like super tall. Or you have to have blue eyes. You have to have like shit that mm -hmm. is unattainable. And then people just don't know what to do with themselves. You have to be smart. You have to be independent. You have to be successful. You have to be rich. You have to like, what do I have to do? Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. I have to worry about my own self and you worry about your own damn self. Yeah. It's okay to do that. Yeah, it's it's uh I've never understood. And you know it's funny cuz I've felt like this since I was a little kid when the whole family reunion thing, well, when are you going to have kids and all that stuff yep. when would be said to my cousins and my aunts <laughs> and uncles and stuff like that when I was a little kid and I would think as a kid I remember thinking you have to have kids like even like when I was little and I didn't necessarily like understand, you know, I, I yeah. just, I would think that to myself. I was like, wait, do you have to have kids? Like I, I didn't, to me, that just seemed insane to me that it was, I was like, can you not just like live, like live life without having kids? Yeah. <laughs> like, Can you not, do you have to get married? You can't just you live your life so the way you want to live it on your own. I don't understand. I kind of feel like growing up too, my mother used to always say like, no kids, no kids, no kids, no kids, because I was just a young girl. So she'd always be like, no kids, no kids, right? Mm -hmm. Up until we got to a certain age and all of a sudden we're just like, when are you going to have a kid? When are you going to have a kid? When are you going to have a kid? When are you going to... Like, why? Well, why? Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's, it's okay. <laughs> I just I can't stand like that, especially like when you go out with friends and stuff like that. And they're just like, we're not going to invite you because, you know, it's a couple thing and you're all alone. And just, Let me just fucking go and hang. Bitch, I'm right, going to well, make you. that event for y'all so much more fun <laughs> if you invite me. Get out of here. I've, I've had that happen in the past where it's just like, well, like nobody wants to tell you what's happening because you're not involved in like the relationships and like there's a there's stuff that like couples do and things like and i'm just what like who cares yeah it's that it's that societal standard you were talking about it's that oh you got to be a couple to to be a part of this no the fuck you don't and can for the love of god like you guys that have somebody great i'm not saying like it's it's a terrible terrible thing no if you have somebody you're happy with awesome i'm happy for yeah. you yeah that's great you it, do you do your thing exactly but don't come around and just because you have found this thing don't assume that somebody who doesn't have somebody is lonely or miserable or sad or that they want th that what you have or they think, yeah or that they want that it's it's okay <laughs> it's okay and it's funny because i've said this like my whole life and people are like well you just say that because you don't have anybody it's like first of all i don't have anybody by choice <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't have anybody because I don't want anybody. I don't want to be with anybody. This is why I'm single. The opportunities have been there my whole life. I'm going to stay this way. This mm -hmm. is how I want to be. But the fact that people automatically assume, oh, you, you're, you're lonely. Absolutely ridiculous to me. Mm -hmm. as, as if like oh you just haven't found your one yet. right like, you haven't no. found the right one no 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 i found amazing <laughs> people that would be a great a great spouse i found amazing people that would be great spouses i don't want that <laughs> <laughs> i want to be by it. myself <laughs> like i i i want i like my solitude mm-hmm 
So just, I don't know. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Self-righteousness or something. Something that, like there's that. There's some kind of, that's going around with people that are, you know, that are, you know what I've once gotten in my, like, this has happened to me in my chat. I was streaming this. This sent me over the, the edge that day. I remember I went in on this person because I was just like, who the fuck do you think you are? But they kept saying, like, they wanted to put a ring on me. They wanted to put a ring on me. They wanted to put a ring. I was just like, dude, I'm just not interested. Don't want to get married. I, you don't even know me. Like, trying to be like, all right, you're being ridiculous, you know, in the mm -hmm. same sense. And... They had the audacity to say, well, doesn't your kid need a dad? Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, oh my. Excuse oh, me? No. Who the fuck do you think you are <laughs> to say that shit to me? You didn't, time, you didn't just fun. marry him on the spot, you mean? I should have. Oh, I'll take care of you and your son. I don't give a flying fuck <laughs> if you gave me every last cent that was known oh, to man. Oh, my. I'm using <laughs> that on every single mom oh. I see for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, my God. That sent me. That went through me. I was just appalled. I'm I offended couldn't... as a single mom. And I'm not a single mom. <laughs> Like, I'm okay. I can't even be offended, and I'm offended. <laughs> like, I'm okay. Like, what in your right mind made you think that I wasn't okay with raising my son by himself, like, by myself? Like, what What in your right mind made you think, like, I, I don't need a partner to raise a child? Again, animal kingdom. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. The males fuck the females and then they go off and do their thing to fuck other females and then the female is left there to take care of said cub child whatever you want to call it yeah i was born Raisin. the wrong species i same i should have been a fucking a praying lion. mantis no <laughs> I, don't, I'm, I shouldn't be a praying mantis so i would rather keep my head <laughs> i'm just gonna eat everybody's fucking head yeah not the one between the legs either as he dubs in the chat, says Jalopy wishes he was human. And that's, <laughs> that's a continuation of the Jalopy is a lizard person joke around here that never gets old. <laughs> Moving <okay>. on, folks. <laughs> that was single life self-love. Do we need to move on or is there more? What do you think? Is there is there so okay, I don't know that we need to move on yet because we, we talked about single life, self-love. Yeah, I think uh, not only physically, not only in like a masturbation form, but like literally just love who you are. Love your weirdness. Mm -hmm. Right. Love. Be OK with your body. Be OK with be OK with your quirky traits. As long as you're not harming anybody. Mm -hmm. As long as you're not causing negative uh, consequences to anybody else. Do you. You know, it, yeah. love who you are. And um, take care of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Don't, like don't, it's, it's, it's don't more than be mean to yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's more than just, you know, thinking like dressing up nice or something. Like, go treat yourself to a movie. Go get yourself something nice to eat. Mm -hmm. You know, Clean yourself up. I don't know. Go to a spa day. Pamper yourself. Like just pamper yourself a hundred percent. Love yourself. You know, take care of your your mind. You know, go make sure you're going to the doctor regularly. Like get your checkups. Like self love yourself. Like love yourself. Get the test. Even if you, know, you feel like nothing's wrong with you, just get the fucking test. Mm -hmm. Whatever the fuck it may be. No sense in like not knowing the unknown. Just do what you gotta do. But just love yourself. Yeah, because then ultimately if you don't take care of yourself, you're gonna end up hating yourself later on. Mm -hmm. for not taking care of yourself when you did love yourself and then it goes around in a circle so once you start loving yourself you start being more comfortable with who you are and then you can enjoy the single life which could eventually find you a better partner because you don't you will understand that you don't necessarily need another thing in your life to take care of you because you can do that on your own at that point it's just wanting to be with somebody 
and it's that that right there the feeling of needing to be with somebody versus the feeling of just wanting to be with somebody i kind of feel like that's where people they they lose that connection they lose that what it's supposed to be mm -hmm. nobody needs anybody in this life mm -hmm. we are we're born by ourselves we die alone like anything could happen a freaking plane could crash into my like house right now and mm -hmm. end stylo like that's just life that's just what it is yep it's okay to want to be with somebody but don't need it it's not necessary in life for you that's to be right. happy that is right you know what makes skylo and i both happy these What's movies that? we watched in our next segment movie of the week because we did a double feature this week folks it was a good one it was a good one double feature and the double features were both of our favorite movies of all time mm -hmm. that neither mm -hmm. of us have seen so movie of the week is something we like to do here where we each pick a movie for the other person to watch that they haven't seen uh, mm -hmm. and we take turns each week one person will pick and yada yada well this mm -hmm. week we did a double feature we figured out we asked each other what are your what is your favorite movie of all time and neither of us had seen each other's favorite movie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh so we that that we did a double feature we watched them both and this these two movies are are vastly different movies uh so it was interesting the movie I had Sky watch first was Days of Thunder, <laughs> which <laughs> was a movie. Uh, I'm a race car driver through and through. I have been my very first shirt from the hospital was a racing shirt. Um, <laughs> I've been in a racing family. I was born into a racing family and I, you know, it's my all time favorite movie. It's a racing movie with Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman where he becomes a NASCAR driver and, and it's, it's got a little bit of everything, drama, action, comedy, uh, romantic comedy. Uh, it, it's got literally everything, uh, but it's, it's an older movie. It's in the 90, mid nineties, I think maybe 94 possibly. Uh, something like that. But I don't know. It's just, it's something that I can relate to a lot. I feel like, I feel like it's just a movie that I relate to a lot. And uh, it was just, it's just we'll always I, I can't imagine a movie where I that I will ever enjoy more than that. There, I, every line of that movie is just incredible to me. Uh, but did Skylo like it, folks? What do you all think? You think so? <laughs> Guy? She absolutely hated no i'm kidding could you imagine <laughs> no i loved it i actually was surprised because i've seen a lot of different racing movies in the past and they're all pretty much the same kind of concept but like you said this movie had such a different dynamic like each it it's wild to me when i see movies that are this old that don't have the same time frame as the movies that are now that have like three hours and yada 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 mm -hmm. and this it took each person's story and in a short period of time like gave you like their stories like <laughs> yeah yeah so much like especially with the different character dynamics like you know you had your 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 frenemies your enemy who became a friend and then mm -hmm. like became frenemies and then you had a dynamic with like that that parental kind of like best friend bond between him and harry um like like all of these like little different intricate like details of the movie which to me was amazing to see because movies don't do that anymore mm -hmm. and i love to see that different dynamic within different people and how like things just kind of work and just come back together in the end so it was good. a really good movie I'm i really glad did you enjoy liked it. it i enjoyed it a lot it's uh i was worried that you wouldn't because it's a racing movie and <laughs> you, you, I don't... you're uh you're not I don't I wouldn't say that you grew up like a racing fan. Did no. You? Well, I mean not really, like not like hardcore like official kind of races, but like my whole life like did revolve around mechanics and cars and um just like when I grew up 
we were more associated with what we called ricers, which is just like the street cars, like people mm-hmm. just like enforce or they're going down to a place that has like an empty highway and they're just fucking racing, like stuff like yeah. that. Um, and then again, my father was in the military growing up, so he used to actually fix the tanks in the military. And growing up as a kid, like I worked with him on our cars ever since I was little. So I, me personally, like I've always had like this, this thing about cars like i love the way they smell i love the way they work but i think i, I even told you i would relate more to harry in in mm-hmm. in the movie because i like to see what makes it work how far can i push the limitations of what i'm building right. to get to what i want like that to me was harry like, was the I crew chief it. and the car builder in the show that was kind of the right hand man of the driver but those are just of unlayman terms for people who don't know anything about racing uh, pretty much the 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 ears and eyes in the sky for mm-hmm. for the mm-hmm. driver. Uh, the movie for me on the other end of the spectrum of movies <laughs> was this a movie was... that came out in two thousand and two. Mm-hmm. My favoriteest movie in the whole entire world, and I can relate to this thing more than anything, which is Lilo and Stitch. Mm-hmm. And I've been trying Lilo to get him. Lilo and Stitch. I've been trying to get him to watch it for... Well, I'll be honest with you. I already felt a little bit of a connection to Stitch because I, ju- I drew him recently. <laughs> yes, you did. I did a drawing. I recently got a drawing pad. I've been doing a lot of artwork and a lot of drawing, and I drew Stitch, or half of him at least. <laughs> uh, so I felt like I already knew everything about him. I was looking into his soul and the universe in his eyes that I drew. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, I hated this movie so much. I can't do that shtick. You did it already. I love this yeah. movie. <laughs> it was really good. I actually laughed a lot. I was <laughs> I was legitimately giggling throughout the whole movie. Um, it was cute. I was I think I was surprised because I was expecting more of a musical type because. I, because all of these music, or all of these type of movies, always seem to just have sp- spontaneous music outbreaks <laughs> in them. <laughs> but this one was good. It was uh, they they make you they make you uh, feel emotion for Stitch that you didn't think you would like for a creature that like doesn't exist <laughs> for, like yeah. an alien right because well he's a genetic experiment he's not right. he's not even, he's not an, even alien. an alien but he's, he's just comes from a lab but yet you fall in love with him right that's what i'm saying like him you 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 feel bond is the word like you feel this yeah. like kind of bond with him uh but you you almost i liked the guy that created him at first but then he became an asshole <laughs> jumba yeah yes that's the name i'm terrible with names i always forget <laughs> names i'm lucky to remember lilo and stitch um but no really good movie uh had some big stars in it um that uh did some of the voices had uh amy hill she's been in literally everything mm-hmm. she was uh mrs sagawa i don't know how to say it <laughs> did she uh, just have a stroke yeah. are you okay yeah i gotta say the person that uh voices lilo is not who i expected really <laughs> um wait the person who voices Lilo is also the chick from The Ring? I don't remember that tidbit. Could be. She yes. was young, too. Sa- Sa- Samara from The Ring is also Lilo. Mm. I was going like to say, she was young. the chick that comes out of the whale. <laughs> the whale or the well? Well. <laughs> I'm a hick. Leave me alone. That's adorable. She comes out of the whale in the sea, the blowhole. She comes out of it. No, she comes out of the well, and that's Lilo. That's no Lilo. way. That that's is wild. Now I feel some kind of way about Lilo. I don't know. I'm a little scared of her. <laughs> that's probably why she felt no fear when she met Stitch. She Everybody was fearless. Was like she did not care at all. And you know what? Like I think for me, what resonated the most, especially with like someone like Lilo, is that like I kind of feel very similar to her where. I 
growing up my whole life i've always saw like the good in people and i've mm -hmm. always tried to to amplify that right. and no matter who it was like i always felt like I could see people in a different light that most people like didn't matter what it was. I saw beauty in like the ugliest of things that everybody would consider quote unquote, the norm of being ugly. Right. And I would be the one who would see beauty in that. So I kind of feel like that's why she resonated a lot with me. That's, um, I can hundred percent see that. So the reason you like your favorite movie is your favorite movie is because you relate to it. Right. It, yeah. The, the whole broken family and, finding fan like that was me growing up my whole family i didn't really like bond well with my family especially after like my parents had split up and my family became friends and people who i've connected with over the years and they were the ones who actually knew me and cared for me more than my actually my actual family did mm -hmm. so for me like i always have this argument with people where people are like oh well you know i can't just do that to my mom because they're my mom or i can't just do that to me i'm like listen it doesn't matter who it is like when you bond with somebody if you love somebody and you genuinely have a connection and you care about them like they become a part of your family doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean like they're like your blood but you know it it doesn't matter right no oh, i like it i like that both of our favorite movies are because we relate to them mm -hmm. like we feel like we can relate to the main characters of the movie mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also um stitch spits acid so that that's awesome i don't have any relation to that but yeah that's <laughs> awesome <laughs> moving on to something a little scarier now i don't know what's scarier than finding out that samara is also lilo that's crazy um to me i did not know that but um mm -hmm. we're gonna move on to our next segment spooky street mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and something spooky we're gonna talk about this week abduction now, are we talking like alien abduction or like kidnapping abduction? All of the above, sir. Okay. All of the above. I mean, I yeah. guess alien abduction would technically be like kidnapping. Yeah, like you're so it's just extraterrestrial at that point. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no abduction. Like, have have you ever like has that ever happened to you or someone you have know? I ever been abducted by aliens? Just in general, by anybody. Have you ever been kidnapped? Yeah, like anybody take you and even if it wasn't like beyond your will, like if it was like a relative that you didn't even know and, you know, they were like, No, oh, yeah, I can't mom. say that it's happened to me. If it ever has, I was not aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was a stupid kid that followed somebody with ice cream. I just, that was... <laughs> Puppies! Yeah, somebody just <laughs> put a puppy in my lap and I was good. I didn't know what was happening. Uh, but uh yeah no i don't think so it is scary to think about though yeah i did get abducted recently uh driving down the road uh, Jesus Christ. because i did uh, see but it was an alien for sure there's i can't there's no explanation other than that's what happened because i was you driving know, down the road and you know I need to stop you because you sit here. You're like, there's no, there's absolutely no logical explanation for this thing that you're about to tell everybody. But yet things fly around your fucking house, and you're just like, oh, it's just the wind. <laughs> you keep solar flare. <laughs> That's all yeah. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Continue on, sir. No, this was not a solar flare. This was not. It was a cloudy day, and. Um, so there was just a really bright, the brightest flash I've ever seen, the brightest light I've ever seen in my entire life, like flashed in my eyeballs for a split second. I don't know what it was. Like I saw nothing but the brightest, whitest light that's ever been. And then he came <laughs> back and his ass hurt. So no, no, it felt okay. <laughs> honestly, it felt better. I think than it did before the light. Um. <laughs> We need to fix this. Uh, like, oh. uh, put some cream on there. So we are talking about abduction, and I really don't think that I've I've met anybody that's ever been abducted uh, or by an alien or by a human. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, it's I've scary actually... stuff. I have act this has happened to me, but it was between family, so like nobody okay. really 
It was just like one of those one things of those, like, like my aunt came over and then gotcha. took me and my brother without my parents knowing. So then like when we finally got back, there was police everywhere. And like, Oof. it was just like one of those things like <laughs> no one talked because like cell phones weren't a thing then. So you, know, you that were wasn't... that family. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, we were that we were that family, you know, a bunch of idiots. <laughs> so... Gotcha. You were that family that my family was like peeking out the blinds at like, oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the Skylos are at it again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um but yeah no it is it is terrifying like that feeling like i just remember like my mom being completely panicking and like running up to me and like checking to see if i was okay and um obviously everything was fine because it was just a giant misunderstanding it wasn't like any right. well like my aunt was just like let's have some fun i was in the area let me take right. you guys like, right after school it was nuts but like you start to panic a little bit because you're like oh my of god is this, what, what was happening like did, did i like what it was I can't imagine how that would feel if, like, that was a real life situation where someone just like grabs you and takes you and then like throws you into like a cellar or some shit. Like, that mm -hmm. is nuts, though, to me. I, uh, I agree. That would be. I couldn't even. Like, that's a that's a terror. Like, I have women in my family that I worry about stuff like that with. I'm like, I could I couldn't yeah. imagine them being and thrown in that situation. Uh, yeah. let, like myself even but like let alone them you know so uh, like that's just it's i can't imagine me for my kid like i don't even think about myself anymore because i feel like somebody wants to take me all right well nobody even gonna wants be for nobody you. wants me like if <laughs> they right. if they have they have bigger problems if they want me you know what i mean like <laughs> A we have bigger man. issues. If a masked they, man comes They're going to be, you. like, begging me to leave. They're going to be like, dude, get out of here. We <laughs> haven't wanted you here for days. <laughs> You're eating all of our food. <laughs> they just grab you and throw you into the you van and turn leave. around. We have a bathroom and you keep <laughs> shitting in the corner. I don't... <laughs> See, that's the shit that I would do. It's just like <laughs> random shit that they're just like, oh my God, get the fuck. Like, you're gross. You need to just leave. leave already. <laughs> I would just start flinging poo at them like yeah. <laughs> the whole night. Like, it would just be. But no, I worry about this with like my kid. Like, when I go to mm -hmm. pick him up from school, because for example, the other day, um, my mom's boyfriend went to go pick him up from the school and it was fine. Nobody called me. Nobody said anything. They were like, my kid obviously knows who he is. Like, I told my kid, like, hey, he's going to come pick you up. So we had a communicate, like, we had this communication. And mm -hmm. I completely, like, it slipped my mind to, like, text the teacher and say, like, hey, this is happening. Right? Right. However, the school, they, they give you a card that you give to the school. And then mm -hmm. it tells, like, who's allowed to pick up your kid. And it's only, like, three names, me, my brother, and my mom. Um, so then a week later, I, it had to be done again. So he went to go pick up my kid. And now all of a sudden, I'm getting a phone call from the school. Like, who is this man? Why are they picking up your kid? Do you know this person? Yada, yada, yada. Like, and I'm just like, you guys just let him go last week with the same person. Oh, I'd be pissed. That is terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely fucking terrifying. Yeah. That you let that happen. And now you're calling me? Mm-hmm. What the somebody fuck? Somebody slipped somewhere. Yeah, somebody majorly fucked up. And I like I remember just like sitting there thinking and I'm just like, okay, well <laughs> kind of a little bit my fault, but also why didn't you call me the first time? Yeah. Yeah, like, that's it scary. Just... It's scary. I mean, I know accidents happen and stuff, but that's a scary one to have. Yeah. Like, I my kid know. is super friendly. Like, you know, like, he knows a lot of people. Like, I, I don't trust nobody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, shit is creepy. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. You know what else is creepy? Getting lost. Uh, yeah. Especially in a place where you don't know or if you're in the woods and you're out camping and you get all turned around. And, um, I, I, I'd say the scariest thing for me when I got, like, when I first moved to Los Angeles... Cause I, you got, okay, I was a country boy from Ohio. I moved to Los Angeles. I didn't know anything about the city at all. You know, I knew nothing about Los Angeles, nothing about big city living at all in the least. And I mm -hmm. ended up getting lost in East LA, like downtown, like the bad, bad part <laughs> of LA. 
like the gang wars turf war like you wear the wrong color shirt you're gonna get shot wars like part of la and i got lost there at like 1 a.m on my way back from work i had a job and I took the wrong exit because the maps are confusing at night <laughs> and the, the, all the roads do all these crazy crisscrosses. And it just, I just, and I could, and like, I thought for sure, like I was just, uh, every stoplight, I, I was like, well, this is it. This is where I die. <laughs> every stoplight. I was like, oh, well, all right. I'm looking around. Okay. And I'm going to get shot here. Nope, okay, I get to live for another 30 <laughs> seconds up to the next stoplight. Where's the exit to the freeway? Please get me out of here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but that was terrifying. I did not like that at all. That's that's like the last time I actually got like legit lost because I couldn't, even with the, the GPS was like wigging out. <laughs> that's and I couldn't get out. I couldn't get out of there. I was like, I don't know where to go. This is nuts. <laughs> I have I have one better. This is... This... Yeah. Uh, to this day, this is probably like the most embarrassing thing that's like ever happened to me. But I, um, I had to drive to my college. Like this was back when I didn't. There was no GPS like in my car. That we I had a, like a Nokia or something like flip phone, like whatever it was. So I had to use like MapQuest, right, to kind of mm-hmm. try to figure out. So I'm leaving like my boyfriend's house at the time, and I'm driving to another state, um, to get to college and this is the first time i've ever driven to it by myself it's it's an about an hour away Mm -hmm. i drove for five hours (laughs) i don't know where i went i don't know how i got turned around somehow i don't know what happened but i all i know is that by the time i needed to get gas because i was just so panicked and my phone was dead and i didn't know who to call and i was freaking the fuck out and i didn't know where to go i stopped at his gas station and this like this dude with like no leg just comes hobbling over and he was like really super short and he just comes hobbling over and he's like filling up my gas tank because we couldn't pump our own gas in the state and i i'm telling him like i need to get to this place like this is my college i need to get there like do you know where i am and he's just like how the fuck did you end up over here i was like (laughs) i was like where am i he goes well you're gonna want to like go back another 30 miles back and then like take the freeway and like he was giving me directions so i'm like okay fine three hours later (laughs) i ended up back where i fucking started at the beginning of the night at the same stoplight where I left my boyfriend and I remember going to his house in literal tears because I was just like I don't know how to get to school <laughs> Jesus <laughs> he was insane because he was just like oh. and he had school the next morning so he gets into the car and he drives me there which took 45 fucking minutes oh my god and then he takes the train all the way back which took him three hours to get home he was a saint for doing this for me but i was i was so panicked that i didn't know where the hell i was this was my first like long trip by myself that was the first and last time i ever got lost i never wanted to feel so turned the fuck around again and be like in the place where I didn't know was some like random dude was just like oh you're (laughs) you fucked up bitch (laughs) wow did you ever get lost at Walmart as a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank I, God did. I did. It's terrifying. <laughs> I got lost Absolutely at a terrifying. Disney World. Oh Disney my God, that's even bad. worse. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that like my parents had walked away and I was watching like this performance and then they turned around and I'm, I'm tiny. Like at this point yeah. I was like, like a foot tall. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm like looking around and I didn't see them and I was freaking out. I think I went over to like a Minnie Mouse mm-hmm. character or somebody like I think it was either Minnie or Mickey. And I was just like, like looking at her because I knew she didn't speak yeah. human because I'm a kid and I'm just like, mom, dad. And like with my arms up, like, I don't know where they are. <laughs> Help me. Are you my mom now? <laughs> <laughs> You're my mom now. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh God. goodness! Well, that's uh, that's that's something, I guess. 
It's, it's one place to get lost, I guess, if you're a kid. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> free free ice cream. <laughs> so but what else is spooky, Sky? This to me is probably one of the scariest things because there's no there's no coming back from it. It's memory loss sometimes. Like you just there's mm. no Yeah, I don't like that one. And you start to forget. And I think it was uh the Black Mirror episode that we saw recently where the father had passed away from from Alzheimer's and he he went to like do some experimentation like on his brain that put him into like a video game maybe i don't know i've seen a <laughs> lot of stuff um no just the fact of just not remembering who you are where you are or people around you or just yeah that is scary Kind of it's like terrifying. a, uh, no, I've known, I've known a lot of people with like dementia and Alzheimer's and things like that. And it, it is, it's heartbreaking. It, it, is. it really, it genuinely is because you just want, you just want to help them remember, mm -hmm. you know and what I mean? You really just, and there's you nothing can you can do. It's just because you know, they know, they just, they just can't like remember. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I know that's it... scary for them. I know it runs in my family too because we have an aunt. Uh, one of our aunts is starting to show the signs of like repeating different things and mm -hmm. forgetting things that she had just done and like leaving cabinet doors open and like walking to the kitchen and like oh I don't know and then just like walking away. And we've told we've told her like go see somebody before. Yeah, it gets brain health is so important. I think we <laughs> forget really we is. we worry so much about our body health. I think we forget about brain health a lot. I think it it takes a backseat to a lot of yeah yeah i think so i mean what do people do for their brain health you know i think a lot of people put that on the back burner because it's they're like oh Nobody. my stomach hurts my arm hurts my leg hurts my my back hurts everybody focuses on their body and nobody ever really thinks i should probably do something for my for my for head my brain yeah you know what i mean there's different apps now that help to like train your brain. And I kind of feel like a lot of people like right after school like ends, mm -hmm. whether it's high school or college or wherever you end, I kind of feel like people just stop reading for the yeah. most. They stop learning. They stop acquiring more knowledge and they just, mm -hmm. their brain forgets to do that. And I kind of feel like that's where things start to, and then they do stupid shit. Like they just binge drinking or fucking cliff dive without a helmet and like <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous things. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, i don't i don't know but i remember my mother she had a stroke when i was in college and i remember her telling me that you know my brother went to go see her and she started freaking out when he came into the room because she had no idea who he was and mm. she was like screaming for the nurse to come in because she just thought there was just a random guy that just like creeped into her room like and was like next to her about to give her a hug and she's like holy fuck who are you Mm -hmm. um and i know to like this day like that stung my brother like for our mom to like not recognize who he was like that's i had the same thing with uh not to get too personal but i had the same thing with with my mother who uh, for those who don't know passed away uh with cancer and uh she she they had her on a lot of medicine and and everything and and by the end there were times where she had trouble recognizing who i was and and it's a very, it's a very, there's a sting. It's a sting like you've never felt before. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's, that's a sting like you just, you don't know exists until yeah. it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's, it's, that is, I mean, if that's one of the scariest things that we've ever talked about on here is, is memory loss. I know we talk about a lot of, of silly stuff on here, but. That really genuinely is like one of the scariest things I think that can happen in life. Yeah. Because, I mean, what else do you have once you reach a certain age in your life other than memories? Yeah. What else do you have? That's why a lot of people like take pictures and have photo uh -huh. albums and write stuff like down. I kind of feel like yeah. to help jog the memory, to help remember, because people don't even realize that memories, the memories that we have of when we were younger, they aren't necessarily the same memory of like that like specific time a lot of times you're remembering the memory that's a remembering a memory that's and it's just over time you start to lose a little yeah. bit of it or change little the bits story. And pieces of it. Yeah. yeah 
and then it by gets the time you're a certain age it's a whole different thing that happened that you're mm -hmm. remembering you know like i couldn't even imagine losing your memory to the point that you forget basic bodily functions yeah forgetting how to breathe well i mean i've eat. done that already <laughs> <laughs> so uh, well. yeah, we won't talk we won't go there but uh <laughs> Jesus. Moving on, uh, speaking of memories, uh, we're going to go back to the 90s for our next segment, Nostalgia. Mm -hmm. This is a fun one, and this first one immediately takes me back. <laughs> immediately takes me back, and it's cassettes, cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. Better have a, a number two pencil. <laughs> Always nearby. on hand. Always on hand. Now, were you the person who, when you needed music off of the radio, would wait until, like, the radio played it and then had to, like, record it, like, off of the radio? I, know, I was too lazy. I never did any really? of that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who I never, are I you? never did it. I never did it. See, my music lover self, I, I did that all the but time. here's I the thing. My so mom was a sense. big time, like, she loved country music at the time. I was mm -hmm. going to say 90s country, but at the time it was just country. Mm -hmm. uh, so she had so much country music cassette tapes. So much. She had like all of them. Like all the 90s cassette tapes. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so I like any, and that's what I liked listening to. So I, I just listened to whatever she had as a kid. <laughs> so I didn't really need to like go and record them. I just listened to whatever she had on tape already. Whatever was in the car, I would grab and listen to. I think with like my family growing up, I we just had so many different tastes. Mm -hmm. Um, because I had cousins who liked rock and metal, and I had cousins who liked, you know, um, I'm Hispanic, so they like Spanish music. And then my family, uh, my parents, they listened to disco all the damn time when I was younger. So there was all these different dynamics of music all around me. That mm -hmm. for me, like it wasn't. I I wanted to listen to it all. I wanted to hear all of the music. <laughs> just give me all of it so i remember just scouring like the radio in different stations until like i was like oh i like the way this sounds and i would just hit play and record and record that shit and then hit stop i had yeah. so many mixtapes dude so many mixtapes all of my stuff was just putting it in the what, what was the thing was it the uh oh what was it called it was like the gray thing that had the microphone that would stick out the of it talk uh Hawkman. Oh god Talkman, I think, is the Talkman from Home Alone, right? There was right? the Walkman, but there was also, which was the CD player. But I think this was the Talkman, where you could, like, record your voice and stuff. Yeah, yeah I like think in, it's the, the, like in Home Alone, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would always use those and just, like, record silly, stupid stuff all the time. <laughs> of me. On my tapes. I can see it. So, I can see that. So I've been entertaining and and streaming since i was a little kid just to my <laughs> to my little talkman thing uh, um so i like i think i knew what i was going to do in my life as a little kid honestly i think i was meant to just be talking in a microphone like we are right now <laughs> what i was meant to do folks it's ingrained it? into me who would have thank it i know what else those these were cool. Got. I don't know if you've ever had these growing up, but I was a huge Power Rangers fan when I was a kid. And these were like the little action figures that like you press their chest and their head would like flip and like go into like their chest and turn into like the helmet head. <clears throat> I it's had, adorable like, that you didn't that you think I didn't have everything that was ever made of Power Rangers. <laughs> Listen. Ever. If he, even if it was knockoff Power Rangers, I had it. <laughs> even if it just had the letters P and W on it as a toy, it had nothing to do with Power or P R. P and R. Yes. <laughs> P W. Because that's in Power. That's the bootleg. That's the yeah. Bootleg that was the version. bootleg. Uh, no, I I thought I was a Power Ranger. I genuinely. I remember my cousin and I, we were both like we would call each other after every episode and talk about it as little kids. Like we loved the Power Rangers. We would go to each other's houses and watch the Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. Like we and ironically, I grew up, moved to L.A. and auditioned to be the Red Power Ranger. 
<laughs> no joke. One of my first auditions as an actor was to be the Red Power awesome Ranger. If you got it. I didn't. I didn't. I lost it to the same guy. I lose every role too, but we won't go there again. <laughs> oh no. Uh, um Billy from uh, Stranger Things, I'm talking about you, sir. Uh <laughs> my arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> Foiled again. Yeah. Every time. He's a great actor. He's a great guy. Uh <laughs> But I lose, I lose every role to him. He, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I definitely had those. I had the ones that like you had to. I had the real like big ones that were like the size of my leg, as like, <laughs> that yes. like you would piece together. You had to piece them together. That like made the full, like it, it was full on. I had the, I had everything. You put them all together and put take them apart all and make together. the actual. Yeah, yeah, it was nuts. I had Rita. I, like, I was gonna say I, I was like I liked Rita. Nobody. I I I I I had Rita, the <laughs> action Rita. figure Rita. I had her. I feel like nobody has. Her. I had Re I had everything Power Rangers. Oh God. I I don't know. I I was this was the greatest thing ever <laughs> as a kid. I don't know why. One of my I first crushes was Kimberly. But ironically, the older I get now, I like uh, Trini, the yellow Power Ranger, more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just, she just like I didn't find her attractive at all when I was a little kid. I loved the pink Power Ranger, though. I was super attracted to her. But the older I got, it like slowly started to like the, the it started to tilt. It was weird. I just, Character development. Yeah. Oh, this change. is new. <laughs> this is new. <laughs> Tastes change, you know, as we get older. Yeah. It's just, we just, you know, like different things. Yeah. I guess. Um, this next one, I'm not sure I follow this one. You put this one on the list, uh, and I'm not sure I know what it is. So when I was in grade school, we took a field trip to this, um, it's like a planetarium, I want to say, kind of joint. And they had like a bunch of stuff, space. It was like NASA stuff everywhere. And, a whole bunch of like fun things and at the very end of the field trip they eat they gave us what they called astronaut ice cream and they're like this is what the astronauts eat while, while they're up in space and this is their ice cream and we're like this is cool <laughs> so you open it up and it's a uh, neapolitan ice cream it's got mm -hmm. three flavors you know the vanilla the strawberry the chocolate mm -hmm. and you bite I know into what neapolitan it is. Yes. and it's just in case other people don't know because you know it's, you know you, yeah, I get exactly it. um you bit into it and it was like freeze dried ice cream and everybody swore up and down. Oh, this is the greatest thing ever. This tastes amazing. We're astronauts now. Yippee. That was the nasty shit. <laughs> I don't I've think I ever, ever had that. In my life. Oh my God. It was like chewy and gross and weird tasting. And everybody was just like smiling through it with winced faces. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is great. This is good. I love it. It's just, just like dribbling out of their mouths. Because they don't want to swallow. <laughs> oh, kids are so stupid. <laughs> like, I don't know why. And like, what's funny, though, is that, and I'm like, I completely forgot about this, like, this ice cream until I saw it the other day. And I was like, oh, my God, I fucking ate that and was just like, this is great. And it wasn't until I read, like, the article about it that I was just like, wait a minute, astronauts really don't eat that? This that Why did, oh, why did I, 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 in my whole life, I was today years old <laughs> when I realized the truth about astronaut ice cream. Yeah. I felt like a space person this whole time. And now I... Enough. You were just a regular child eating bad I ice cream. Yes. <laughs> It wasn't even ice cream. It was yeah. just foam. Just, we yeah, they just gave you foam. <laughs> they gave you laundry detergent from the freezer. <laughs> it was so disgusting. You were the first kids to eat Tide Pods. <laughs> you know, we probably were. <laughs> I don't put it past it. <laughs> and then you grew up and had children of your own that ate them knowing that they were Tide Pods. <laughs> <laughs> and so is life. All right, sing the song, Sky. Write to me, Stick Stigley, P.O. Box 963, New York City, New York State, 
108. Does anybody remember Stick Stigley? Stick Stickly. Stick I didn't Stickly. until you showed me. <laughs> the little popsicle dude with the yellow I remember nose. it now that you've showed me, but yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't know that I ever really watched it much, but I remember it all, like always being around. <laughs> it came on when you got home from school. Yeah. So like what we would do is I remember coming home from school, throwing my backpack down, grabbing some food, sitting down, turning on Nick and just chowing down. And that's what I would be watching. Yeah, I was about to say, I think it was on while I was like getting my food. Yeah. Or like while I was preparing food or, you know what I mean? While I was doing, mm -hmm. like while I was unwinding from the the tough day of coloring books and mm -mm. and being line leader at school or whatever, you know. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, line leader. Oh, my God. Oh, well, yeah. Talk, talk about a throwback. I completely forgot about being line leaders. The line was, <laughs> line leader was, if, that was my important. best day of the week. It was very, very important. It was. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, uh, I, I remember it like being on the TV a lot. I think mostly in commercials. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think there were a lot of commercials with Stick Stickly. Yeah, I were. didn't recognize the name though. I didn't. I don't know that I ever knew the name. <laughs> you knew him as Stick Stickly. I just knew. Oh, there's that popsicle stick. It's kind of creepy. He was kind of creepy, and it was kind of like a weird show. Like, I don't remember anything else really from that show except for, like, he lived in, like, this, like, weird, like, loft type of, like, building. It was mm -hmm. industrial, so, like, it, it was, like, being in New York City. It was just, like, why is this popsicle stick living in fucking New York City in, like, this weird loft apartment? <laughs> like, there's just metal shit everywhere. It was just weird. It was really weird. Now that I'm, like, grown up, and I'm just, like, why was I, why did I even watch that? Yeah. What, like when did I even and why do I remember this stupid song? <laughs> yeah, that's I, weird. I would have never known the song ever. I I never written to him. Like we never like mm -hmm. I just I just know the fucking it's engraved in my brain. Like I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving <laughs> on out of the nineties into a hypothetical time. Uh, where we play a little game called What Would You Do? Mm -hmm. And this is fun. I like this game because uh, we learn a lot about Skylo and myself and our morals and how they don't <laughs> exist and how we're just terrible, terrible people. <laughs> Basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you so, guys still keep coming. Yeah, you, that's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I will, uh, I will, do you want to go first or you want me to ask you first? Up to you. I'm going to ask you first. I'm going to ask you first because this okay. one, I'm curious. I'm curious. Some kid yells food fight at your high school cafeteria. Do you join in by tossing your lunch at somebody? Absolutely not. Hmm. I'm surprised. I thought you would have said yes to this. Um, I am not wasting one bite of my food. <laughs> <laughs> what if like it's just like nope. scooping the food that nope. gets thrown next to you like picking it up and throwing that well maybe that i have mm -hmm. nothing against the throwing of the food y'all want to throw food that's fine i'm not throwing my food <laughs> you sit there and eat it the question was do you join by tossing your lunch at someone <laughs> absolutely not my that's lunch true. is getting covered up and i'm running out of the room because I don't want somebody else's floor food getting thrown on my plate. You just go underneath the table and just start eating. I don't your want food. their corn from the bottom of somebody's shoe landing in my oh. on my pizza. Mm, shoe corn pizza. Yeah. It's a delicacy you know? in New York. I couldn't do it. I couldn't <laughs> I I love food too much. Although being in a food fight would be legitimately awesome. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Like, I don't mean like a like a, a sanctioned one. I mean like just a spontaneous, just one where there's not supposed to be a food fight, but everybody just goes ape shit with it. To town, yeah. Just, a, like at a Pizza Hut with a buffet, and just it just people just <laughs> grabbing everything. 
<laughs> so that's you know, something I would do. Go to an all you can eat buffet. I'd go and, and growl right and people yeah. are just. <laughs> Mashed so potatoes are flying think. just everywhere. <laughs> You're just like, knocking people out with roll cannons. You know, my fat ass was just like, I would be right at you the You just line, see like, me driving through the air like a dolphin catching food in my mouth. <laughs> I was just gonna say I would be grabbing it, putting it in my mouth first, like one for me, one for you, one for you, one for me. Yep, a hundred percent. All right. I, I don't what? know if I would if I would join. Honestly, I just I don't I don't know. I don't know if I would. Or yeah. Wouldn't. Yeah. It depends on what, what I guess the lunch it's was. yeah, it's very situational too. What do you have to do afterwards? Can you afford to get dirty? Like Yeah. And then I would feel how, bad. Are you if gonna I get in a lot of trouble? Hurt. Who's gotta clean it? Like I feel Who's like just... <laughs> morals, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. All right. scruples. You're at a swanky restaurant. The chef is visiting tables to ask if everybody enjoyed their dinners. Your meal was a disappointment. Do you tell them? Yes. Thousand percent yes. You ask me a question. I'm going to let you know now. I'm going to be nice about it. I'm not going to be like, oh, this was disgusting. I'm just going to be like, well, you know, it was a little dry or it wasn't my right temperature or it wasn't what I was expecting or something like that. I Again, I get it. I've worked in the restaurant industry before like i understand how it is but like i'm very i'm a food snob i i will say i'm a fucking food snob i like good foods i like shitty foods but i i like all kinds of foods and mm -hmm. i like things with flavor and i like people who take the time to prepare your food the right way and not just like shovel shit down at me so if somebody had asked me and i didn't like it i would tell them like hey i didn't like it might That's have not just been my taste like i'm just it i i wasn't okay with it but i still That's ate fair. it um I am the opposite uh and only because I'm a better person than you but because oh, I I would just not eat there again. I just be like oh yeah mm -hmm. it's fine and then just not eat there again. Mm -hmm. Because I just to me it's like what's the point? Mm. Why 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 just why? That's fair. You know what I mean? Just why? Why go that extra step? Why? Yeah, why? Like, now, if I can see that they genuinely are trying to improve, then maybe. But if they're just doing the, hey, how's everybody's dinner? Hope you're having a good, you know, doing the the basic mm -hmm. bare necessity that, uh, you know, I just I'm like, oh, also, it's fine. I'm also hoping that by me saying that I was dissatisfied by the meal, they might want to like make amends and then prepare something else for me or give me a free dessert or something. Cause the, I, I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want it. I, I wouldn't want I something would... free from something from somebody who already made something that I didn't like already. Well, see people make things like some people are really good at certain things. And other I things. know, they cook, but they like just... it's dessert. <laughs> I don't free know. Dessert. Give me that lava cake. You're at a you're at a swanky <laughs> restaurant. Why do you need something for free? <laughs> you're already because spending money at a swanky exactly. restaurant. Like if that you can't extra... afford the swanky restaurant Listen. dessert, don't go to the swanky restaurant. The extra money that would have paid for the dessert, I would have given to the staff. No bigger tip. No. That's just how I roll. Don't you I'm know me? You don't not, know me. I do. I know you very well. <laughs> whatever all right what's next a former employee who you like a lot but was a bit of a goof off asked you for a letter of recommendation would you write one yeah i mean what's it gonna hurt me mm. what's it gonna hurt me um i just know from uh previous jobs in the past that i i we're not even allowed to talk about stuff like that. So, like, it, we would have to say the basic, uh, they worked here. <laughs> like, you could just say you're genuine, always showed up on time, worked hard, never caused problems. But see, now you're lying. Okay, always showed up, never caused problems. 
<laughs> he was nice. He was nice. <laughs> That's it. That's what I like him. He's, he's a goof off. Like I liked him. He was nice. Yeah. That's it. And they were like, "Well, how is he as a worker?" He was. Yeah, they're not going. Nice. It's not going to be any follow up <laughs> questions. You're writing a letter. <laughs> That's true. And and it, it, who cares if you lie? <laughs> Again, what's it gonna? How's it gonna come back on you? Because this is gonna be a person that you're probably gonna go to that McDonald's and ask for something, and he's gonna be the one that fucks it up because you gave him no, a great letter of recommendation, no, no. and now you're putting them back into fucking workforce no, into society no. to fuck up even more instead of correcting it and being like your letter of recommendation no. is you fucking suck at everything. You're a great person, but you need to fucking no. pick your shit up if and like do something. If it's going to like a McDonald's, I'd be like, no, he's the best. Hire him right now. <laughs> If he's going to something like where, oh, he's a brain surgeon, then okay, I'm going to be like, okay, no, do not ever put this guy yeah. in an operating room. But they don't tell you. They just want the letter of recommendation. They're going That's to tell you. Hey, I'm trying to get a job at yada yada. Can you give me your letter of recommendation? Oh, you want to be a train conductor? All right, no. <laughs> why <laughs> because you're going to kill people <laughs> i don't know I that's just, why I, I oh you want to, you want to you want to just work at the dairy bar down the street okay yeah fine yeah you're the best worker i've ever seen in my life <laughs> and then you go to the dairy bar order something and it's all fucked up and local then you don't man burns tell... down dairy bar <laughs> The grease fire. <laughs> Killing everybody inside. Yeah, setting, <laughs> setting a zoo on fire next door. No! Why the zoo? And letting the animals free. <laughs> with lions now lives. roaming the streets. <laughs> oh no. Eating all the children at the local... <laughs> School. All because you <laughs> wanted to write a stupid letter of recommendation for this dumbass. <laughs> That's how it goes, folks. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one. All right. What are we at? Which one did we just do? We did the, the former okay, employee whose one. turn is it? Yours. All right. You're an EMT driver. Oh, Lord help us. <laughs> Traffic is heavy. Do you use your lights and horn to move cars out of your way, even though there's no emergency? Absolutely not. No, I do not. He's a fucking liar. I'm not a fucking liar. I, you know how many people panic when they see those sirens and the lights? He's a liar. I'm not a liar. <laughs> Fuck you, sir. I would not. No. People, I've known EMTs that do that, and it used to piss me off. I'm like, you're going to give somebody a fucking heart attack. They're going to have an accident, and then guess what? You're going to have to do more work. No, I Fuck agree. You. It's super wrong. Don't do it at all. It's Don't messed up. It. Police officers do it all the time. It gives uh, you a fucking heart attack. Yeah, no, it's messed up. It's super messed up. Um, I, I'm a firm believer. Here's my thing. I think if a police officer, maybe this is a law, I don't know. If a police officer is driving above the speed limit and they pass you not w without their lights on, if they're driving above the speed limit, it should be legal for any car around them to follow them at the same speed. Right? I like that. Right? I like that a lot. You know how many times I've wanted to do that? That should be legal. But I don't think it is. Maybe it is. In some places. I don't know. According to Candy's Corner in our live chat, folks, it is in uh, Canada. So. That is dope. That's pretty the sick. Traffic would, like, move so much better. Yeah. But I they can't do they can't do that fucking weaving in and out on the shoulder bullshit. Like Yeah. I hate it when they do that. Now I'm like, fuck, now I gotta cut to the right and they're gonna be like, that's unsafe passing. Like they're baiting me. I don't yeah. trust them. I don't fucking trust them. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, yeah, don't do that. I agree with you. Don't don't use your lights if you're EMT or fire yeah. fighter or a cop or a 
any official of any sort that has <laughs> lights on your vehicle, don't use you, it. You just for don't know. For non-emergencies. Yeah, people people panic when they see that shit or hear it, and it's just they're trying to be more aware of you, and you're you're taking advantage of it, and you can cause a whole thing. Like just don't. Bad. Yeah. Bad. All right. Well, wow. there's a cocktail party celebrating you being named a new partner in the firm. Everybody ah wants to meet your significant other, but she's a recovering alcoholic. Do you insist that she intends? That she attends? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, if she's, like, mentally stable enough to at the time, like, it, I guess it depends on what part of her recovery she's in. Like, if she's stable enough to, like, do social gatherings, right? Yeah, I feel like I would, like, ask ask them. Like, like it would hey. be up to her, and, like, yeah, I like would are insist. you comfortable going, like? If you're not comfortable going, then don't go. But I would want you to go. Like, yeah, I think I think for me, I wouldn't insist at all. I would just let them know, like, hey, they want to meet you. If you want to come, this is where it's yeah, at. I'm going to go. Yeah, 100%. But, you know, I understand if you don't want to go, maybe we can do a different setting if they want to meet I you. I never maybe. insist anybody do anything. Ever. Yeah. I'm like, I offer things. I'm like, hey, would love for you to do this. It's up to you. Do it if mm -hmm. you want to. Don't if you don't, nothing's gonna change with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> nothing, nothing at all is gonna change. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's an interesting one. I it would all depend on their comfortability for me of where they're yeah. at and and where they want to be and how uh how comfortable they are being around people. Also, uh, it's a cocktail party. There's going to be drinking. Yeah, that's the definition there. of a cocktail party. It's just nothing but drinking. So Everyone that could be a trigger. Your, like, that's yeah. You're 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 exactly. You're asking an alcoholic to go to an alcoholic party. An alcoholic party. <laughs> that's you're asking a cocaine addict to go lay on a bed of cocaine. Like, basically like i i don't know i kind of feel like the people at the firm might be like hey listen she just ain't coming just, like, right well again it's up to them um i yeah. agree with our chat here ashley says you'll be there to support them i agree uh but that's why you i think you should definitely leave it up to them yeah like and if they go and they want to leave like leave just leave with them yeah it's okay like should happen well the party is celebrating you it's your party Kinda, so you kind of have to stay, but I don't care. If but it's yeah, my, I mean, if, if it's, it's, it's one my of partner, those situations. Yeah, it's a situational thing. Yeah, like I'm sorry, but like I, if I'm with somebody and like yeah, I understand that they are celebrating me, and that's great. But thank you, right? To but the also, firm. your partner should know. Hey, they're celebrating you. I'm not going to go and then make you leave because of me. Yeah. Like I'm not going to be that person. I know I wouldn't. Like yeah. if I was the recovering alcoholic, I would. I'd be like, no, I'm not going to go on the risk of freaking Just out, in case. and then you exactly. having to leave. So exactly. it's a two way street. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. All right, folks. Um, we're. Oh my god. What the time is? Yeah, I know. I guess we'll just we'll we'll move on to to the end here. That's sad. <laughs> I didn't realize what time it was. He said, that's sad. We we jabbered a lot at the beginning of the show. We missed a week. We had to catch up, guys. We did. We had to, we had to catch up, guys. It's been good to have y'all here, though. We appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, episode four of season two that we're in right now. Mm -hmm, and it's just mm -hmm, getting mm -hmm. better and better. We appreciate those of you that are here in the live chat that have been here hanging out with us. We like to end every show the same way with uh, a full. We just did hypotheticals. We just those are kind of fun hypotheticals, but we like to end every show with a a really deep hypothetical. And this one is this one. I don't know that there is a deeper hypothetical than this, honestly. Do you know? Um, do you, do you have an answer for it ready? 
Um, I don't know if I do or not. I kind of do, but I also don't. Um, I think I, I think I do. Well, I'll ask you first then. Okay. Um, if you could ask one question to an all-knowing being, what would it be? Um. Oh my Time's God, up. You don't question. get it. It's gone. <laughs> you missed it. Oh my God, Time's up. Question. You lost oh, your question. No. no. You could have asked why does pudding taste so good, and you missed it. You don't. That was my question. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yep. Um, is there a point? Okay. Is there a point to existence? Is there a point? So that would be my so question. So that's essentially my answer was going to be what's the meaning of life? Yeah, like uh, which I feel like is going to be everybody's question, right? Yeah. I can't that's why I was like I do have an answer but I also feel like that's going to be see, everybody's response. Yeah, cuz like I feel like okay, is there a meaning of life and he gives you a meaning? Oh, the meaning of life is to this. But like I just want to know is there a point? Like even <laughs> if there's a meaning, is there a point to even fucking doing that mean? Like can yeah, I just be a point? slug? Can I be a slug? Can I just lay here and do nothing and like, let what the is rain the point fall of down that in Africa and yeah. just be a slug? <laughs> like what is the point of existence? <clears throat> yeah, would like, be a good question. Yeah. yeah. Why? Just why? Why? Just why? Why is there <laughs> existence? Who is there? Um, and also, who did put the bop in the bop shabop shabop? <laughs> Jesus we still don't know. Oh, you know what a good question would be? Which one came first? The chicken, the chicken or the egg? egg. It, they, they've already answered that one. What? No, they didn't. Stop. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. They did. Lies. That has already been answered. They no have already hasn't. they've already figured that one out. Well, I don't believe you. They have. I I need I need proof, sir. Google it. Look it up on the Google. I am not jujuling it. You have to. I'm not gonna do it. It's there. On I don't the interwebs. You. I don't believe you. <laughs> Uh, what else though? Outside of the the obvious qu answer, what what is one question you would ask an all knowing being? Is there life beyond this plane of That's existence? A good one. That's a good one. What happens when you die? I want to know whether. Or ghosts... are you saying, or is yeah? I didn't is know if there... you meant like, is there alien life out there? Uh, I mean that too. That that would be a good one too. Like, is there is there beings out in the universe besides us? Is time travel real, and how can I do it? Do our pets understand us? <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? Nothing. <laughs> They're not even that good, honestly. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> right. They're okay. They're not They're bad. They're so far. <laughs> uh folks uh, wait 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 i have one more question I'm i have down i, I have one more on. question <laughs> why the fuck do people not signal when they're driving <laughs> laziness there's no other reason there's no other answer than I don't, pure I, laziness i just i i don't accept that i don't accept that it's don't no, it's what else could it possibly be? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they want everybody around them to just get the fuck out of their way because they think they're fucking special. <laughs> okay, I turn now. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> oh no. It's laziness. That's why everybody does everything. Uh, I just I don't because it. there's too much. Uh, I refuse. I refuse. I don't. I know that's exactly what it is. And this is why I avoid people. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's because you're literally your hands on the steering wheel. You don't you just you literally have to move a pinky. Yep. 
That's what you have to move. They can't yeah. even lift a pinky. Mm-hmm. Move a pinky. That's it. Hands on the steering wheel. Pinky. Boom. Yeah. Pinky. Boom. Pinky. I think it's uh, entitlement. I don't know. I just don't I, get it. The all-knowing being will know, so we'll just have to find him. All uh-huh. they're doing is hurting. Right. They're hurting themselves as much as they're hurting other people. I know, which is why it's just bonkers for me. Like, I don't, I just, this is the one thing that, like, causes me to lose what sleep What do they think is going to happen when they turn their blinker on and it's kind of close and I'm, like, behind them? They think I'm going to see that blinker and be like, oh, no, no, you don't, and speed up. <laughs> no, just go. Like, at <laughs> least I thank you for turning your blinker on. Go ahead. Most of the time, I'm going to slow down and give you more room. Like, especially when you're around pedestrians and they're trying to cross the fucking street. I can't tell you how many times I've almost been hit by a car trying to get home because people don't put their blinker on and mm-hmm. I'm crossing the street and then they're like, oh, let me turn now. I'm like, you see me crossing first off and you're not indicating that you're coming my way. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck? I did just. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. I don't know what we do about it, folks, but uh, that's our episode, guys. Season two, episode four in the books. Thank you all so much for being here. Huge shout out. Oh, my. I just burped. Huge shout out to uh, Skylo for showing up every week and doing this awesome show with me here and um, putting in all the hard work she puts in in the show. Uh, Big shout out to our sponsors and to all the people here in the live chat. If you're listening to us on the podcast, thank you for that. If you're listening to us on Apple Podcasts specifically, please give us a good review, a five-star review. Maybe leave a nice word for us. It really helps us a lot on the algorithm, gets us out there more. It means the world to us. Thank you so much for being here, guys. You are incredible. We'll be back next Thursday right here on twitch.tv slash jalopy. Thank you so much for everything. Sky, is there anything else uh, before we go? No, I'm just, I can't wait for next week. I mean, we already have a lot of topics that we didn't get a chance to cover this yeah, week. Yeah, we so. missed a lot because Sky, Lo, and I couldn't stop talking at the beginning of the show. So we got some fun <laughs> stuff to give you guys next week. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much. Please stick around for anybody that's here uh, uh, in the live chat for uh, a raid. You guys are incredible. We'll be back next week. Until then, y'all. One thing always, one having a having a having until thing, until then I want to having a hand. Until then, folks, one thing to always remember: read the, read the room.